박기찬님이 상대하게 될첫 번째 선수는 레스트 선수입니다. 레스트요? 진짜로? 我是来自中国的Les，我是来自中国的Les。其实我对枪击这个球，哎，平时都没有看过，又没有看过，所以基本上什么都不知道，净系听过，不知道。사실 작년 월드컵에서 우승자잖아요. 네, 그래서 또 굉장히 피하고 싶은 선수. 저는 개인적으로 중국의 스킷 선수 같은 그렇게 굉장히 잘하는 선수로. 어좀 인정하고 있는데 아 첫판부터 만난다니 아 그럼 잘못했네요 오늘이네 근데 차라리 만날 거면은 8강에서 만나는 게 이변 창출하기에는 좀더 낫지 않나 싶긴 합니다 차라리 그럼 이제 올라 달리 달리 걸스 뭐 저는 또 어디 찾게 야 올라 일단 아티팩트를 기반으로 좀 이번에 효과를 좀 많이 얻고 있는 구레원이라든지 다단이트 몬스터들이 지금 굉장히 떠오르는 추세거든요. 그래서 이제 그런 몬스터들을 기존부터 잘 활용하던 선수들이 아무래도 좀 좋은 결과가 있지 않을까 그렇게 생각하고 있습니다. 네, 참이 우리가 언제 언제 거기 나오는지. 嗯，希望我多爱加油了，不输就满牌。不输就满牌。Look at these videos here. Now that we're at the SWC 2020 Finals, where players know each other and they have a lot of respect for each other. This was interesting. Last, our reigning world champion. Everyone knows him, but Last was like. Yeah, you know what? I don't know Charmy, so I'm not going to comment on him, but I'm sure he's great if he's coming out of the APAC region. What an answer from last year's reigning champion, still vying for the opportunity to become the first ever back-to-back -back world champion here at SWC. Guys, Lest, what more needs to be said, Stoic, about this fantastic summoner? I mean, we know him as the champion of last year. Lest is a very, very strong player, clean drafter. And we're expecting to see, you know, just more great play coming out of him. He's got a tough opponent going up against Chami, of course. Chami did receive some new units, and we'll find out about that later on. Uh, but Lest, I think he's going to do fairly well. Like I said, I think this match is going to decide how this side of the bracket is going to be uh, going to be uh, looking. Also, uh, Lulu, really make it a butt? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to see a Lulu come out. I, I don't think that that's going to beat Charmy, and especially Charmy. Charmy does have a lot of new units. Uh, from what I've heard, he had a 70 or 150 scroll summoning session for LDs and pulled three LD nap eyes, one of which was a Yun Hong, which is a total game changer. So four, actually, I've seen from Stoic here. So might be four units that he pulled. So that's a lot in his toolbox. At the same time, I mean, Les is the defending champion. He took out Thompson in the finals last year. And this year, he's added a Pater to his lineup. And Pater is one of the most powerful monsters, has the ability to cleanse, uh, skill to heal, do a lot of damage, kind of maybe overtuned a little bit. Uh, so definitely really strong monster to add to someone who's already a champion makes him very difficult to beat. The APAC region has been very, very strong this year, as evident as Gaia was able to move on in the first quarterfinals. And the guy that beat Gaia in the APAC Cup was Charmy himself. So Charmy booking his ticket early and is the Korean representative. Maybe not the Korean representative that everyone thought would make it out here from the APEC region as Skit was the highest rated, but Charmy's the one booking his ticket, confident here in the quarterfinals, but probably has one of the toughest matchups possible as he's taken on Lest, right, Stoic? Most definitely. Lest is a very, very tough opponent. Like he was saying himself, the one guy he didn't want in his very first match, and he got him. It was Lest. So we're probably going to be seeing some fancy new units coming out of Chami. Maybe even this Miho. We saw it a lot in the APAC region. So curious how well Chami is going to be doing going up against the one player he did not want to face in his very first match. Make it a bud. Break down this uh, setup here for Charmy as he takes on the reigning world champion. It's going to come down to how good Charmy's runes are. You saw that Les like to take a lot of Boozer units, Molly's, Vigors, Vela Jewels, Paters here, Charmy. 
has a little bit more control heavy units. So he's going to need to trade blows a lot and is going to need to be able to survive a few hits. And he has Yan Hong wounds so enough to set a lot of control there, but he's going to need to be able to have tanky units if he wants to tangle with less in a longer term type of game. One of the most anticipated matchups in all of SWC 2020 finals starts here in the quarterfinals brought to you by Google Play. Find your new arena and discover the latest and greatest games only on Google Play. Charmy and Lest in the quarterfinals. Best of three. Only one can go on. Stoic, make it a bud. Take it away. <sighs> Here we go. We've got Chami. We've got Les. Pre-bans are already out. The Wounds are getting pre-banned by Les. And we have Molly getting pre-banned by Chami. First pick is going to be that. Oh, that is a, that is a Chibu and a Dark Monkey. <laughs> Off the bat, I was expecting some sort of a CR, but instead we see aggression from Les here. Clearly wants to take some form of turn one, but then wants to have some sort of immunity in the back pocket here. Uh, Veladrill does do very well against Charmy's uh, entire lineup there. But this is a form of aggression I haven't really seen before. This mix of units is very interesting. Most definitely. Ciara Okeanos, Fachami looking to wrap up his draft here after seeing that Villa Jewel in Masha. Wow, we see a Rakan Miho. Just we go to the different side of the globe and it's totally different units here. Was not expecting a Rakan. Rakan actually very good with the against these units of less here with the ability to give itself immunity and then strip and provoke on skill three and do a massive amount of damage. I am not sure about this Miho pick. It really doesn't Miho doesn't really do very much over time. It can be taken out by these units, but Again, I mean, it is. it can present a lot of RNG with stuns. So overall, this is kind of a very weird looking draft here. A lot of threat from less, no healing here, but no healing on the side of Charmy either. So it's gonna come down to who's gonna be able to take a unit out first. I think it's gonna, it's gonna decide a lot in this game. Most definitely is. Speed leads for both teams. We're getting into it real fast now. Chami and Les in their first round with a best of three. She was going to be taking first turn for Les looking for a full team strip, not receiving that strip on top of that Ciara. Mio obviously going to be revenging here. No stuns going out on top of that Chibu. Yeah, and you see here right now, uh, Charmy's team is, is, has two units off will. There's going to be a lot of damage coming into these units. Masha does do a lot of damage, so I think Les is going to get the first killing blow here and probably take out this Rakan. There's that third skill from that Dark Monkey gaining two stuns on top of Rakan and Okeanos. Defense breaks on everybody. Looking to drop this Okeanos with Masha. Masha's not able to do it just yet. Sanctuary is coming up, boosting up forward, gets the additional turn as well. Maybe just the first skill to be dropping this Okeanos. Interesting choice to go after the Okeanos knowing that you do have immunities coming up from Bella Jewel. Uh, so Okeanos will be going down here, but if that Rakan is able to proc, that would be huge for Charmy. Yep, Okeanos gets taken out by the Masha. That Veladrill chose to go for a second skill, landing that dot on top of the uh, top of the Miho. Yeah, that dot on the Miho is huge, but you know, luckily for Charmy, that Miho is able to heal, so it is big, big heal there and able to stay alive. CR looking to focus out that Dark Monkey King first here. Chibu going for a second skill on top of the Mio, not finishing it off just yet. We've got a second skill primed and ready for a defense break on top of that Rakan. Miho continuing to do a little bit of damage to that Chiwu. Masha looking to drop the Rakan, does not do it just yet. You can see uh, the Wusa, no, Wusa barely holding on. Chiwu, sorry, Chiwu barely holding on right now. Yeah, and Charmy's actually looking to take out this Chibu here because that is a unit that's typically not on high crit, so that's his path to victory. He's definitely looking to Miho, his opponent here, uh, and get it, and that's his path to victory. So Les is going to need to find a way to not crit if he wants to be able to take out Miho and win this game. Yep, so, uh, CR with a bomb primed and ready, puts it right on top. Masha gets the stun, eliminating the Chibu from the field. Veladrol finishing off that CR, and we know exactly what needs to happen here. We need to miss a crit on top of this Miho. Very tough here. It's going to depend on what build that Veladrol is. If that Veladrol is on a crit rate CD type build, he might not be able to take out this Miho here. I mean, this Miho is hanging on by the skin of his teeth, but I think we're going to see a Miho take this game down. I think we are going to see a Miho take this game down. Miho finishes off that Masha there, and we can see more damage coming towards this Miho's way. Massive damage coming from this Miho as well. Here comes a big skill one. Still standing tall. He needs to land this dot, but the punishment doesn't even land the dot there. And there you have it. The Miho able to hold on. Jami's taking round one away from left.
Wow, that is so impressive. I have, would never have thought a Miho would have won because typically in G3 RT8, Miho sit there and don't do very much. The problem was that Les did not have healing on his team. He had that Velodrool, but Velodrool does not heal. It is on a high kind of crit damage, crit rate build. So he really didn't have an answer for Miho. Charmy saw the opportunity to win early, and that's why he saw him chipping away at that Chiwu, which wasn't on high crit. That was his chance to win. Once Chiwu went down, Les didn't really have a way to, you know, win with a high chance of success. So great foresight by Charmy there, riding that Miho to victory. I'm not sure about the Rakan pick, but it didn't really matter when you have the Miho. It really didn't matter at all. I'm curious if Les is going to have a pre-ban on top of that Doc Marshall cap. We're going to find out going into round two with Les and Chami. Pre-bans are out, and it's going to be the Neftis and the Doc Monkey King. Right, so Chami is going to be left being able to take that Yacht Hong. You know, what's interesting is I don't see that pattern being pre-banned from Charmy here. Very content to let Les have that in his back pocket. And Les can also have a Molly in this game to, to complement with that. So I'm not sure if this is gonna go in the favor of Charmy off the bat. He does take a Chi Wu and a Hathor, which is pretty weak against Patter. So Les is gonna be able to build around this, uh, slide in the Patter, and then have a team that's also very good against what Charmy's already presenting. Uh, and that would be a good way to outdraft his opponent. Ooh, Les hovering over a Molly right now. Did he choose to lock that unit in or not? We're gonna find out. He has one more pick here. Goes with the Vigor instead. Goes with Vigor Molly. Vigor Molly is a very good, uh, very good long-term play. And we see a Cadiz and a Rakan coming out from Charmy. That's a very interesting. I haven't seen a Cadiz in SWC before either. Um, so we're seeing a lot of new units and still believes in that Rakan. Of course, Rakan's a lot better now that. Uh, Les isn't guaranteed first turn and guaranteed to pop this Rakan like he was in the previous game. So it is a much better pick here. But again, that Molly is going to present challenges for this Rakan. Oh, Les draft, uh, drafting Triple Oracle here, wrapping up his draft with a Juno and a Praha. Chami bringing in that brand new Cadiz Rakan and wrapping up his draft with that Verti heal. I think we're going to see a Hathor uh, ban here because Hathor kind of sleeps Les' entire team. Les doesn't really have immunity, so I think Hathor is likely going to be the ban here. Um, and Les does have a lot of strips to deal with Rakan, so I don't see Rakan being really much of a threat in this game. Instead, we see a Praha ban, which is super, which is interesting here. And of course, we do see that Hathor ban. Yep, well, Praha is going to be banned out. Speed leads for both teams. So he's going to be taking first turn as we get into round two with Chami and Les. Jiwu going for a strip here. Can it land on top of the CR and the Vigor and gets it with the attack bar pushback as well. Kiddies possibly looking to put a branding effect on top of the CR. Can he get it here? And he does with the attack break as well. Does get that branding effect, but it's going to come down to how many crits that Bird can get. Can he crit through Molly passive and Vigor anti crit here? Uh, Le Charmy's going to need to do a lot of damage. Does not have a defense break to do so right now. So that's going to be his avenue of attack. Les has super tanky units, so it's going to be a little difficult to get through this. Yep, there's the collapse, landing that provoke on top of CR. We're going to see possible second skill coming out of this vigor. There you have it. We're going to see possible despair stuns. Going for the AoE despair stun, landing on top of Vertiheal and a Cadiz. And just like that, Rakan's not going to do a lot of damage, but that Cadiz does proc there, so that is some damage going on to CR. But again, that Molly's just healing everything up. Yep, definitely a little bit of damage for sure. Provoke still remains on top of that Ciara as well. Vega looking for the defense break, lands that defense break on the Cadiz, looking to take advantage of that defense break as well, not finishing off that unit just yet. Yeah, that Cadiz not doing anything at all this game here. I mean, basically just came out here and died, did not even prevent present a defense break here. So Charmy's now down three units to four here and needs to proc a lot on this Verd, but doesn't have enough burst without a defense break to be able to take this one home. That's right, psyching a little bit of attack bar with that Juno, psyching a little bit of attack bar with that Ciara as well. Unit of focus for Chami, he's trying to get rid of the Ciara ASAP. We're gonna go for a big AoE strip with this Chiwu. Chiwu gets that full strip, a little bit of attack bar pushback as well. Yeah, but again, this Molly is presenting a lot of heal here. This Juno does do a lot of damage too, a lot of cycling from that Vigor, so I still like less position here. That Ciara is so tanky, taking so much damage from that Rakan, but still hanging there. There's the defense break coming out of Vigor, capitalizing with the Violent proc, finishing off that Chiwu there. But it looks like this Verti heal almost finishing off that Ciara there. Yeah, but right now we see two units before. That is a Violent Recon. It's not going to be able to come back and, and give Charmy the win here. So 
At this point, I think Charmin's going to need to think about how he should adjust for game three. Yep, that is correct. It's just not enough damage for uh, Pachami to get through this Molly and Vigor. Juno is going to be there to finish off that Rakan. Chami already thinking about his next match. Charmy definitely thinking about his next match. That Bird Hell's down. And there you have it. Ch oh, I'm sorry. Last is going to be taking round two away from Chami. We got a 1 1. Yeah, I guess that's why we don't see a lot of these units in the meta on the ladder because they just don't work. I mean, we don't see Cadiz very often, and I understand maybe Charmy's happy and excited that he pulled these units, but Cadiz did absolutely nothing that game. It could have been a Young Hong or something else that, as we've seen, very overtuned monster, and he does have it, but don't know why he chose to go with the Cadiz instead. Also, Rakan, kind of disappointing there, not doing as much as I would expect. He needs a setup, needs some sort of defense break, uh, and when you're going into a Molly that allows your units to glance, uh, makes it very tough to take something out. And just over time, when you don't have heals, you're just going to get worn down, and that's exactly what we saw. Less has great runes, and drafting like that in the less is not going to give you the win. Well, here we go, guys. Going into round three. pre bans coming out. The Wounds are getting pre-banned by Less, and the Molly is getting pre-banned by Chami. Both these players have great LD nat fives. We have yet to see them, and we're going into a round three. Yeah, we're definitely going into a round three, but I think Less is going to be more aware of that Miho here. Not gonna, it's going to be a lot harder to cheese this game from Lest. I think Charmy's going to probably need to draft a little bit more standard if he wants a chance to win. So right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing more standard draft. Not sure about the Fran pick if he lays that down. I like Okeanos a lot more because it takes it away from Lest. Lest instantly takes Vigor and the Vela Jewel here. Lots of damage, heals, and everything. Uh, and again, laying down the Cadiz, I'm not sure what the Cadiz will do. The Vert is a great, is a decent pick, but into a Vigor, it's already pretty weak here. So Lest is actually exploiting the fact that uh, Charmy doesn't have immunity and lays down the Rico, which is generally a forced ban here. So uh, if Lest is able to get his team off, uh, that's a lot of everything he's bringing to the table. And I don't think Charmy's team is well-rounded enough to be able to handle this. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. That Rika was a very good pick, knowing that Chami doesn't have any way to defend that Rika. It has to be the ban here. If he doesn't ban it out, he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Does ban out that Rika. Hathor is going to be the ban on the side of Chami. And here we go, guys. We're getting into a round three. Lead of skill is getting chosen right now. Speed leads for both teams. All right, here we go, guys. We're getting into round three with Chami and Lust. We got the strip coming from Chiwu. Gonna land on everybody. Is someone gonna be someone going to resist him? Yeah, and I looking at less Charmy's team here, I don't see a way that he has enough damage to win the game here. I mean that Vigor is gonna give anti-crit, uh, and that Velagil is gonna give immunity. There's gonna be a lot of damage being pumped into this Vanessa, and then Les is gonna be able to switch off to different units. So I really like less position in this in this match here. Yep, definitely buffing up here, getting that additional turn with the Veladrul as well. Massive punishment coming onto the Vanessa. CR not able to land a bomb on top of that Vanessa, though. Not able to land a bomb. That's a huge miss because that would have been the end of Vanessa. Instead, uh, is only able to take that Vanessa down to one third. And now we have no anti crit on Sierra, and that's a lot of turns that Charmy's going to be able to take over time. I believe that was a resist on the reset coming from that Okiano. CR still has skills up. Definitely, uh, we saw that resistance there, but at the same time, this bird is moving in front of Sierra. That's going to boost up the, the uh, Vanessa, and that's going to be a lot of damage that that Sierra is going to be taking. Yeah, most definitely, we're going to see a second skill. I'm sorry, third skill coming out, getting that three turn defense break on top of Vanessa. Verdi Hill is able to get the additional turn. He would take advantage of this defense break sitting on top of the Sierra. Does he choose to go with the first skill or a third skill to drop that Sierra here? We're going to find out who he chose to go for a little bit of poke damage on top of that Veladrul. Cadiz looking to deal the damage though to finish off that Sierra and does not do it, but Vanessa is going to be finishing job there. Yeah, and actually, Vertiheil is going to be able to uh, take, constantly attack this Chibu and give Charmy lots of turns over time. So uh, as long as Les doesn't proc a lot, Charmy's actually in a decent spot. He's going to be able to pummel in a lot more damage over time. Yeah, you see the unit folks is that Okeanos for Les trying to get rid of that unit right now. But we've got uh, Okeanos looking to deal a little bit of damage himself. Looking for some poke damage, take advantage of, uh, take advantage of that branding effect on top of the Veljo, but massive two turn sleep coming from Chiwu on top of Oki. That is a game winning sleep there. That Okeanos did have skill three up. And if anything, Charmy was waiting for that to be up. That is a big proc from that Cadiz as well. Does take out that Veljo. 
Big proc indeed. The sustain is on the side of less. Is it going to be enough? Or can Charmy get the edge on him? We're gonna find out as we proceed through this match here. Charmy's still in a great spot here. Does get that defense break on his unit on the last hit, but that's a huge proc by Vigor. As a very big rock by Vigor, trying to take advantage of that defense break as much as possible. But if that vertical is going to help it cycle out of it by pushing up these attack bars, getting the additional turn as well. More damage coming in a Chiyu's direction. Not looking good for Les right now. Okiano's looking for the Rain of Stones to lock everybody down here. There you have it. Charmy takes down last year's SWC champion. Wow, what a match there. We saw Charmy dethroning last year's champion. He can't believe it.